Hi there. Again, this is just my opinion and my beliefs. Please take what you want or leave it all or use what works and resonates with you. So today I'm going to talk about a programming around discernment. So um, typically we are uh, a hard drive, which is our brain, <laughs> and our soft drive or software is our mind. And quite often we listen to the mind, which is separate, of course, from the brain. And how do we know how to discern if uh, we are lying to ourselves? And that is by questioning what the mind is telling you. And sometimes even the brain, which uh, uses the senses, and we've got multiple senses, to discern what is the truth for that being, Sometimes even our senses can be fooled with things like deep fake, CGI, um, all that kind of technology can fool even the brain senses. So how do we discern? Well, first of all, I think we need to ask ourselves when we're talking to ourselves, is this true? So let's say I say to myself, I'm selfish. Uh, how do I know that's true? Where's the evidence for that? Why do I believe that? And usually uh, you'll come to terms with the fact that your mind is mean <laughs> and has been programmed by conditioning indoctrination from outside of itself and that what it tells you uh, and speaks with to you is not accurate, maybe even is a lie, etc. So, we have on board uh, a number of uh, intelligences that help us discern. And so I think when we use our heart intelligence, which also has apparently a thinking apparatus in it, which I found fascinating, uh, and our gut uh, and our brain, having those three or more online I think we're more apt to be able to discern what is truth for us, what is real for us. And as we move forward, I believe that we are not going to be using our speech and our voice to communicate. It's going to be using uh, telepathic means. So the skill of discernment is going to be huge. And so is the skill of self-responsibility. So in moving forward, I suggest that we ask our mind the various questions and then we look to our heart and our gut and our brain in a combination to discern what is truth for us. Um, there's also something in my world that we call cognitive distortions, cognitive being thinking, so some people call it stinking thinking. <laughs> and so when your mind is using words to yourself, like all, always, never, ever, those are considered to be distortions in thinking because am I always selfish if that's what I tell myself? No. Am I never selfish? probably. So it's very important to discern if our cognitions are these extremes or polarities that might not necessarily be true. So using things like sometimes, much, most, probably is a more accurate picture of discerning. So I'm hoping that that has helped because discernment is going to be huge. I also started to think, hey, maybe the reason they social distance the six feet apart is because we can't resonate or feel the person's vibration that far apart from us. And that is one of the tools we use to discern. So we've been talked out of discernment, unfortunately. We have to learn that as a new skill. So I hope this has helped somebody and uh, look forward to 
hearing from you, seeing you, maybe as part of the group, etc. Love you. Bye.